the laid back bike report is back on the road once again visiting your local recumbent bike shops today we are in floral city florida and we are visiting trailside.bike one of our fine sponsors this lbr at your lbs video is brought to you by TerraCycle makers of exquisite recumbent parts and accessories for your bent. All right, folks, as you know, uh, trailside.bike uh, uh, is on the Withlacoochee Trail, which is right over there. Let's, uh, let's take a little stroll. I'll show you where it is. Here's the shop. You can see some fine trikes and bikes over my shoulder. Hey, guys. Hi. Cute puppy. And we are now standing on the Withlacoochee Trail, right here. About 40 some miles, I think, in either direction. It's great riding. Uh, I look down the trail, I see uh, lots of bikes coming. Uh, there are usually more recumbent bikes on this trail than anywhere I've ever been. So, uh, Floral City, Florida, come on down and uh, ride the trail and stop in and see uh, Andrew here at trailside.bike. So now that we're here at Trailside Bike, I think we'll stop inside and uh, have a word with uh, Andrew and his crew, see what's going on inside. Come on. Hey, Gary. Andrew, hi. Great to see you, my friend. It's great to be here. So uh, we're gonna have a few words later on, talk a little bit about the shop and maybe get a little tour and uh, out back, which is really where things are going on. We'll take a look out there too and uh, have a little bit longer chat, but thanks for inviting us. Oh, quite welcome. We uh, love to have everyone here. We're uh, at trailside.bike. We are Florida's largest recumbent specific store. All right, uh, Andrew, we're, uh, we're in the shop now and I was hoping you can give us a little tour. Show us the various sections and what do you have in stock here? So starting off, one of the uh, brands that we hold dear to our hearts is um, Greenspeed. And we send our hearts and prayers out to Ian for a speedy recovery. Absolutely. Um, we have the various green speeds that are here. Uh, we find the Magnum to be most popular model, that in the um, Aneuras. And um, we also have a lot of our speed machines from our good friends Ice over in the UK. And we have the very first new VTX that uh, was produced, Serial Uno. Wow, the very first new VTX. The new VTX, yes. Okay. And uh, as we move down, progress. Uh -huh. We have a couple of selections. Here's our good friends uh, from Azeb over in the Czech Republic. Hello, guys. Um, first trike I ever bought was, was in Azeb? In Azeb, yes, over in Holland. And then we have our good friends, uh, the Nichols with Rands. They're continuing the tradition and the heritage that is Rands from aircraft to recumbent crank forwards. Moving along, we have um, our other dear friends, Hase, over in Germany, and then uh, Anja and David up in Vermont, and that's with the Delta. The uh, two manufacturers for Deltas are Hase and Greenspeed, and we carry the uh, almost all the models for the Hase, and then we carry the uh, Neuro, which is the Greenspeed uh, version of the Delta. And uh, the great thing about that is, if you have a husband and a wife, and they want to connect and be a tandem, they can. Or if they want to decouple and go their separate ways, they can as well. Let's talk about uh, what we have right here. Sure, so HP, uh, another great, great uh, product, German engineering at its best. And uh, we have the most popular model, the Scorpion, and then the Scorpion Plus, which is no doubt fit for a king's throne, or queen for that matter. And uh, wildly popular for folks that uh, have different physical disabilities that they need some assistance with. And I notice that you have some special pedals on these, yes. uh, along those lines. What are, what are those? Um, so we refer to those as um, in homage to Frankenstein, my fa favorite movie of all time, uh, the Frankenstein pedals. So um, the great advantage for that is some of our seniors may have difficulty with remembering keeping their foot on the pedal. And what that does is the heel keeps the foot always on the pedal. Being Florida's largest recumbent dealer, we specialize in only the best e -electric, electric assistance or e-assist or e-pedal for your trikes. We, um, we endorsed two brands currently. That would be the Shimano and then for, and that is only for new trike purchases. It cannot be retrofitted. The only trike that you can retrofit a Shimano to would be the Hase Pino. 
Okay. That is an industry standard. So, and that is another Delta. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, we're a big fans of the Copenhagen Will. Right, right. And and so uh, so one is what they call a mid drive uh, yes. ride, which is the steps, and then the the Copenhagen Will is an example of of a real rear wheel drive, right. but it has the ad other added benefit in that it can be retrofitted to any bicycle with that size, and you can do so in literally five seconds. Yes, hanging from the wall, we have some of our lovelies from European market. So in European markets, they love the two wheel. In the US, we love our two wheels as well, but we've seen a big transition to the three wheelers. So we still want to show the two wheelers and show uh, our friends here in Florida what's available overseas. So starting from the right, we have another um, example from our friends at Azub, a two wheel, a 220 inch and it's great, fantastic for touring, and the HP Grasshopper, which is the uh, only folding two-wheel recumbent a bicycle on the market, as I know, and it's fantastic for RVers and for campers to fold up and put in their RV. Next is the HP Speed Machine, which is a, considered a low racer. It's made for speed. And then lastly, we have the uh, Behemoth, which is the Aza Max, which is a full 26 inch recumbent uh, that takes mountain bike componentry and can climb, cover any ground. The shop is just full of all kinds of accessories. What are we gonna highlight right now? So the one thing that I want to highlight is American made, designed, and that's TerraCycle. When you think of TerraCycle, you think of quality, you think of ingenuity and engineering. And I just, we love their products, and so we try to carry as many as they can make for us. We carry um, some unique bags for recumbent specific market that I'd be glad to show you. So, one of the bags that we carry that's very popular is for a tool bag that would be carried under the boom of the bike. And so, um, a lot of people don't realize the need to carry a patch kit, a pump, and so forth. And they want to keep it separate from their other things that they might be carrying, like their cars, their keys, and their sandwich, and so forth. So we carry the underseat bag. We also carry a hydration bag that's highly popular with the two-wheelers mm -hmm. because there's never any good place to carry water. And it being hot and humid, there's never enough water. All right, Andrew. So uh, we have moved into the bowels of the shop. What are we? Where are we here? Yes, we're in the uh, mechanics dungeon, if you will. This is where we bring your trike and, and customers who a lot of times are frustrated because the trike doesn't perform as it should. And we bring it to life and we make it sing. That's what we do here is we make your trike sing and make you sing. All right, Andrew, we're outside the shop now. What do we got going on here? We have our first annual customer appreciation cookout. And it's a mouthful, but it's just our way of showing thanks to the uh, recumbent community. So thanks to everybody for supporting the shop. Sounds Let's great. Some uh, burgers. Uh, what else we got going here? We have brats uh, cooked in uh, delicious beer. We've got some burgers with some garlic and secret seasoning. We have some potato salad. Uh, just a fantastic feast today. Sounds great. And some fine folk all around Absolutely. here to help us celebrate. Nice folk. All right. Yes. Give yourselves a hand, everybody. What in the world do we have coming up here? Come on over here, sir. Riding the Withlacoochee Trail. What's your name? L. L? And who's this? Lola. Hello, Lola. You wanna lick that? Good girl. 
All right, so uh, Al, uh, you ride this trail all the time? Every day. And you live somewhere around here? Right here in Inverness. You've shopped here at Trailside a lot, apparently. So tell me a little bit about your experience shopping here. They're wonderful people. They work with you. They'll take and put the parts on if you buy them with no charge, which is important to me. I'm on a pension. Uh huh. So, and they allow Lola in the store. <laughs> which is important to you and Lola. Yes, because she's very, very particular about where she walks. All right. <laughs> so now uh, you're riding a Catrike 559 here? Yes. And you've had this for how long? Uh, six months. Okay. And how are you liking it? I like it because it folds up. And I, at the time, I only had a vehicle where I couldn't put a bike in. Do you have other trikes as well? A Terry trike, an orange one. And is that what you started with? Yes. We're so, had, so glad that you had a, a chance to stop and talk with us. And you and Lola, I guess, can get back on the trail if you like. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Al. All right, folks, so uh, we're going to kind of wrap things up here at Trailside Bike and uh, ask Andrew, uh, I guess, a final question or two if we can. So I'm wondering uh, if, I'm a, if I'm a guy that's interested in finding out more about uh, a recumbent bike and I don't know much of anything about it and I walk through the door here at the shop, uh, what, what would my experience be like? Sure. So one of the things you would expect as soon as you walk in the door is what in the world brought you here? <laughs> We're glad that you came here, but um, you know what specifically, what health problem uh, made you con want to consider a recumbent trike or bike? Or are you just interested in the novelty of it? Because really what we want to do is anybody that walks in the door, uh, we presume that they, they need some help with their health and we want to try to help them find uh, a way to uh, become mobile and active again and lead a healthy lifestyle. Okay, great, great. Okay, so I'm walking in and I've talked to you about what, I might, what my needs might be as far as recumbent goes. So what's the next step? What do you do after you've learned this from the person? So a lot of our customers haven't ridden a bicycle in literally decades. So we try to educate them about simple things like how you put your foot on the pedal, how you change gears, um, some basic traffic rules that they were to go about. And so we train them on that before they, um, they go out and do a test ride. So we'll go through and based upon their needs, we'll identify two to three different bikes that, that would meet their needs that we think is a good fit for um, their physical needs, their budget and so forth. And then we'll take them outside and they'll do a test ride. So you'll fit them up on a bike or a trike, depending on what it is you think they might like to do. And they'll just hop on the trail right here. And uh, stones throw away from the door, they'll hop on arguably the greatest trail there is in the Florida, if not the entire Southeast. Okay, and so that'll give them a great uh, great opportunity to evaluate what it is and they can make a, uh, an informed decision on uh, which of those two or three uh, bikes or trikes uh, to choose. And then uh, they'll come back, hopefully, think about uh, purchasing uh, something from you. And then what happens after the sale? Is that the end of the relationship? Oh, not at all. We do uh, follow up with the customer to make sure that um, they're not having problems with their bike, that most importantly they're enjoying it and that they're using it to, to become healthier. And then we want to know about um, if they're not, if they have a, a friend or group they ride with, and if not, we want to try to invite them to a group ride to get them, uh, to encourage them and get them active again. Because really the hardest part is, is the mental game that a lot of people have is just getting out there and, and start pedaling. And once they do, the uh, juice is flowing, they're usually hooked. Yeah, no doubt about it. I've been there. So, well, Andrew, uh, I want to thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your very busy schedule here at Trailside Bike to uh, to welcome the Laidback Bike Report here, show us around, tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys do here. And uh, the hospitality was wonderful. We had a little something to eat and drink and uh, and had a chance to see a lot of folks here, viewers of ours who, uh, who have watched the show and know a little bit about uh, Trailside because they shop here. So thank you so much for inviting us and having us My here. pleasure. We, we look forward to doing it again. Thank you. The With Lacucci Trail, right here. About 40 some miles, I think, in either direction. It's great riding, so. 46 miles. <laughs> in, in <laughs> uh, I don't know which way. It's about 20, yeah, maybe 20, you know. Go Swiss, pardon me. Go Swiss. Yeah, they're I'll, gone I'll start now over too. again. Are they gone? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. This is a huge thing to. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Folks, this is a heartbreaking oh, moment for us here, Andrew. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> there you go. You're fine right there. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah.
That's the shop mascot. That's hole in the wall, yeah. It looks like it looks like Danny's smoking them out too. Hi. Hi. Susan Straley, and I wrote this book about uh, living with Alzheimer's. My husband was uh, living with Alzheimer's, and uh, we rode trike, and it really helped us keep active throughout our life with Alzheimer's. In fact, he biked up to the day before he passed. And so it's just been a, a great experience, and I wanted to present this to you. Thank you so much. Well, that's beautiful. I will read this, and we'll talk some more about okay, this. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll have you on the show. Cool. All right, thanks. <laughs>